welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight bout in PFL between Dennis Goltzoff versus Jorgen DeCastro. And I believe I predicted this fight before, but I think, um, I don't think Castro fell off. I think um, Dennis Goltzoff fell off, but they had switch up opponents. But if I did predict and it's already out there, I'm just going to title this video 1.0. But how I feel about this one, I think also, I think my confidence wasn't as high as it's going in, is it prior as it is going to it, going into this matchup now. So, um, yeah, Dennis Goldsoff, hot, not hot. Dennis Goldsoff, lot confidence to beat Jorgen Castro. I feel like Jorgen Castro starting to go back into his shell again, getting a little timid out there, not letting his hands go. Like, he literally went in with Danilo Marcus. I guess he was so scared of the takedown or scared, so scared of the BJJ that he just kind of allowed himself to just get outstruck, like, with no effort at all. Like, just kind of just sitting there, deer in headlights type of fight. He allowed a guy to just out, outpoint him in a, in a little slow, boring fight. So, yeah, he getting back to that Darren Headlights stuff. Like, he had some performances like that. That's what led him getting cut in the UFC. So, yeah, getting back to that same stuff. And I feel like also with this overall better fight. Jorgen Castro got a puncher chance. That's about it. He ain't got no grappler chance. He ain't got no real, oh, I'm going to just cleanly, technically beat you to the decision. He got a puncher chance. He got to hope that goes off over commits or maybe this perfect shot opens up and he's in a perfect position. He lands that perfect shot. Or maybe he gets injured like Dos Santos did. But, um... Yeah, Goldstar should be able to do what he wants. Should be able to pressure him. Make his shots in well. Look to get into the clinch and work him for some takedowns. And really, I said, just do what he wants. Be the one the drive, be the one in the driver's seat. Oh, while well, we're going to strike a little bit, we're going to have a point fighting matchup. Definitely probably don't want to get into it. We're going to have a scrap match. That'd be dumb. That would give Catro a chance. Even though the Catro probably would lose that too. He'd probably be like, oh, this guy want to bang. Uh, I don't know about that. Let me just back up a little bit. Let him just throw some heat at me. I block some. Maybe throw a little punch back every now and then. But nothing really committed. I don't want him too hard because he's going to hit me back harder or something. So he probably would still win that fight as well. But I feel in this fight, just pick a shot as well. Apply pressure when necessary or, you know, when applicable. Mix in his takedowns or work, like look the wall installed. Again, just initiate the fight. I feel like the catcher is definitely at that point where he's in a very submissive mindset right now. He's going to be on that back foot and allow the catcher, not the catcher, going to allow him. Um, Goldsoft to do what he wants or allow Goldsoft to lead and he ain't really gonna have the best response. He, he'll be on the back foot and he's not even a good counter fighter or a counter fighter to begin with. So, yeah. He's gonna be doing himself with this service and Goldsoft is gonna take full advantage of that this service that the catcher will do to himself. So, in this one, I have Dennis Goldsoft via decision. 